When you import data to QuickSight, one of the options available is to prepare this data. Change data types, rename fields, join tables from a database, and so on. To demonstrate this, we're going to connect to a Redshift instance that contains tables relating to a fictional e-commerce company. We go through the database connection flow and then choose the Edit Preview Data option to get to the data prep screen. The table that we have selected contains data about the orders received by this company. First thing you notice is that the data prep screen shows you a sample of the first 1,000 rows of the data. This is helpful in understanding what you are working with. You also have the option of selectively including or excluding fields from the database using a simple click. In the preview area, you will notice that QuickSight has automatically detected the data type and the role information for each of the fields. QuickSight supports integer, data, decimal, and string data types, and you can switch from the auto-detected types in the data prep screen if needed. Additionally, you can also modify the field names if required. When analyzing data, it is often essential to create calculated fields. QuickSight allows you to do this from both the data prep screen as well as from the analysis. You can choose from a number of available functions by adding in the fields you want to operate on and then validate the formula right there. Now let's focus on the drag and drop join feature that makes it very simple to perform what otherwise would require complex SQL. We selected the order details table when we started out and now let us select product detail table, which is what we require to understand which product was purchased in each of the order entries. Once you selected the tables, notice that QuickSight automatically creates a join link that allows you to pick the right fields to establish the join. You can also add multiple clauses if needed. and specify the type of join that you would like to perform. You could add additional tables and move tables around in the UI to modify the join hierarchies. We might also be interested in filters that can help scope down data to exactly what we want to analyze or share. To do this, we use the filter capability available in data prep. In preview, we only filter based on the 1000 row sample, so in some cases it is possible that your preview shows up empty. Finally, we can rename the dataset and then proceed to visualize the data. In this case, we are going to import the data to SPICE. 